In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at level streaming. Level streaming allows you to break your map up into chunks and you can simply load in certain sections of the map or unload them whenever you want. So to begin with I'm going to come up to my window tab and then just hit levels and this is where you deal with level streaming. So you see we have a persistent level and you have an eye next to it. Just as an example you can toggle the visibility of your map here and you can also see that the level that you're currently in is in your viewport and you'll see it's in brackets it says persistent. So what we can do is create a new streaming map. So if you hit levels and just hit create new, I'm just going to leave it named as new map. You can toggle between these two maps by double clicking on them. So if I highlight new map by double clicking on it and drag in let's say a cube. Now this cube has been applied to our new streaming map and you can see this by toggling the visibility of the map again. Now one thing you might want to do is add in many more meshes to your streaming map, but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to duplicate these cubes a few more times. Okay, so by default if you were to jump in the game you won't be able to see your map. And this is down to the streaming method. And we can change this by right clicking on the map and just change the streaming method and you see it's set to blueprint. If we change it to always loaded and hit play, you can see the map is always visible now. If we change it back to blueprint, this allows us to, well let's make sure that we're on the persistent level first by double clicking it and what we're going to do is set it up so when we enter a box trigger we'll make the map appear and then disappear when we exit the box trigger. So navigate to your level blueprint and add in a begin overlap and let's also add in an end overlap. Now we could right click and type in load stream level and you can also grab a unload stream level and it simply just asks for a name and we can type in new map and we want to make sure that it makes it visible after we load it and the unload stream level the level name is also going to be new map so we can connect these up like so okay now if we jump in the game we can't see the streaming map but if we enter the box trigger we can make it visible and then we can unload it again by exiting the box trigger and that's just the basics of level streaming. I hope this tutorial helps and thanks for checking it out.